Our first caller is KC from Washington. KC, what's up, man? How can we help you? Hey, Sal. How's it going? Really Good. appreciate you guys. So I'm new, a uh, long-time listener, first-time caller, and I am in the final phase of anabolic, and it's going really well. And I, wa- I want to get bigger arms. I feel like the rest of me, like proportionally, I'm doing great, and anabolic has been a fantastic program to go through. So I purchased the bicep and tricep mods. And what I'm curious is, with the length of each of the foundational workouts in anabolic already, what's the like best way to incorporate those mods? Like, can I incorporate both of them? Should I like replace all of the bicep tricep workouts in each foundational exercise with all of the, you know, modification parts? Should I do like, just go through the bicep mod first or just do the tricep one or like add a fourth quote unquote foundational day where I just do the bicep and tricep mod exercises. I'm curious about the best way to incorporate this. Yeah, no, good question. Okay, so for people who aren't familiar, so we have mods that we created for specific body parts, and literally they're designed to be plugged into uh, our current programs to replace the workouts for those corresponding body parts in those workouts. For example, let's say you get the, the glute mod. You want to build your butt. What you do is you would take your MAPS program take out the glute workout that's already in there and replace it with the mod. And what the mods are is typically increased volume, uh, you know, more exercises. And essentially what you're doing is you're trying to bring up a lagging body part. So the second thing, the second option that you kind of brought up is exactly how you would use this mod. So you would take MAPS Anabolic, take out the bicep and tricep workout that's already in there, and then replace it with the mod so that you're placing a little bit more focus on the arms or you know the area that you wanna you wanna focus on. Does that make sense? Yeah. Excellent. So it's really that's exactly how it works. So if there's other body parts, you do the same thing. Now it's typically not recommended that you combine mods because there's a lot of volume if you do it that way. But this mm-hmm. is really and really Adam's expertise came a lot. Uh, we, we utilize quite a bit in this because of his experience competing. And one thing that he did through his career, and I'll let him touch on this, is he was able to bring up specific body parts. And the way he did it was he would focus on one at a time. Like he he didn't focus on all of them at the Mm. same time because it's just too much volume, too many, you know, too much going on. He would focus one at a time. So MAPS Anabolic as it's laid out, but you replace the bicep and tricep workouts with the mod that you purchased so you could bring up your arms. We also created them with with the intention of that, if you wanted to stay in something like MAPS Anabolic, you could run it the way it is exactly. And then let's say in, in your example that you were trying to bring up your arms, you could run it back a second time and then now you plug in the mod. So it gives you this uh, exercise variation and, and in addition to that also increased volume for those specific areas. And Sal's right, like um, not that you couldn't technically do a, another mod in there also, but then you're starting to get a ton of volume. And then I would just recommend going to like Maps Aesthetic, which is more focused on, you know, focusing on specific body parts. But the way those mods work, you could pretty much run Maps Anabolic multiple times uh, back to back and then switching the mods in for those because we change up the exercises and we increase the volume in there. But what you're thinking, I think you're 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 right on you're right on par with what yeah. you should be doing. Now, Casey, you're how far are you through Maps Anabolic? Third phase, I think. Third. Said. I yeah, I just started phase three um, on Monday, and cool. I, my my quads are sore from sissy squats. Oh yeah, that's that's a that's a brutal Those one. Are a beast. Now you said you've been getting good results, so I'm assuming you're getting stronger. You're noticing muscle gain, the whole thing. Yep. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's a bit like I've I've trained since high school, but it's always been like on my own. I'm in my late thirties now. I've got four kids. My oldest son is a wrestler, and so like I'm just trying to keep up with them and stay active yeah. <laughs> and flexible. Um, and so going through like an actual program like anabolic has just been tremendous because I was overtraining before. So like going down to three foundational extra you know workouts a week has been tremendous just because my fitness is no longer a, a point of stress. Mm. Um, and ha- and it just fits in better with our like family dynamic and lifestyle. And so with the length of how long it takes me to get through those foundational workouts, I was curious, you know, about like how many mods can I add in there? Cause I was also like eyeballing the shoulder mod as well. And so, um, you know, I appreciate the you know feedback to only incorporate one at a time and then, you know, you can, 
just run through anabolic again um, with just a, you know, and rotate in whatever yeah. mod you want to work on next. Yeah, then I think the other thing we could do too, Doug, why don't you send him over maps aesthetic? Because yeah. that would be the next progression mm. to what sounds like the direction you're heading. Isn't that great though, mm. how we can reduce the amount of times we're heading to the gym and actually see more yeah. results. Get stronger. Yeah. And, and, I, yeah more <laughs> I've been it's banging my head against the wall for years of just like having like hit a plateau when it came to strength and results. And then I was also on the like intermittent fasting train for a long time mm -hmm. and like jumped off of that as soon as I started listening to you guys. Excellent. Um, and uh, so like getting yeah. off of that, reducing, you know, like the high volume of, frequency of training and overtraining really um and just having it more balanced like it was like flipping a switch i feel like i'm in the best shape of my life i feel great i'm looking better <laughs> all right <laughs> and man. doing less work right that's so and right. Doing, right and dose, doing less man. work and that's the thing like i've got friends you know no you know <laughs> not to rag on crossfit again um but i've got friends Please who are do. just like killing themselves every day doing these you know w you know workout of the day stuff and they're just they're dying and they're not getting the results they're going for. And so to, to go through y'all's programs and like, just do the work, just do what you're told and you'll get the results. <laughs> yeah. And you're learning a lot right now about how your body responds. So this is a, a, yep. a great experience. One more thing you can do. You mentioned your shoulders on your, on your trigger session days, do mm -hmm. like some band laterals, band front raises, band rear flies, just get a little pump mm -hmm. in your shoulders on your off days. Yeah, just put a little more emphasis on those. That's it. A couple times, like, literally twice a day, two to three times a day on your off days. Get a pump mm -hmm. in your shoulders with really light movement, not super intense. Just get a pump. And that, that gotcha. should also make a big difference in your shoulders. And it doesn't add, uh, you know, lots of damage uh, to the body. So you could do those simultaneously. The trigger sessions for your shoulders. Keep the set, Remember, keep the intensity low. Use bands. Get a little mm -hmm. bit of a pump. And then the bicep and tricep mods for the foundational days. And I think you'll be fine. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. No problem, man. Right, Thank Casey. you. Man, we're getting a lot of these uh, these these guys that are just like tons of kids. He's got four kids, and he's doing all this I stuff. Know. He's I juggling. Do. That's great, lot, man. man. To me, this is one of one of my favorite things about uh, what I feel like we've been able to do is to, is to communicate this to the mass. Like, there's always an exception. Or there's somebody who's listening right now who's a bodybuilder and you know responds well to a split seven days a week yeah. and. You know, they're competing and, you know, maybe MAPS Anabolic isn't the perfect program for you. But, I mean, it was it was the thing that connected us, man. When you sent that over to me, I'm like, man, this mm -hmm. is the, this is the messaging that I that I know a majority of my clients would benefit tremendously from. And it's counter to what I thought and what most people thought. So I know that there's a lot of people out there that just they they think that the more work and the more days they put in, that the more results they're going to have in their body. Yeah, yeah. And it's there's the there's the right dose for that. And I just think that the two to three day a week full body routine with triggers in between is just so realistic for people that have lives outside of the gym. And you can build. I mean, you heard him. He said best yeah. shape of his life, and he's in his late thirties yep. with four kids. Oh, yeah, I love. Yeah, I love how he highlighted that. You know how it made a massive difference. And then also what he highlighted was that we have mods too to experience our programs in a completely different way. Again, it keeps them fresh. It keeps them alive. And uh, you know, and there's ways to kind of incorporate that as well. We don't talk about that a lot uh, because you know there's we have done you know. Put a lot of work in other directions in terms of other types of adaptations we're trying to acquire but like to be able to you know go back i know some people have run similar programs like over and over again yeah. you know look into the mods there's new ways to kind of uh you know add that in and and, and make it fresh again yeah and, the, and then we made them very inexpensive on purpose because we wanted people to have that option you know to modify the workouts that's why it's called a mod but i can't stress this enough the right dose will get you to your goals faster than the wrong dose bottom line so more will get you there slower. Less will get you there slower. If you find the right dose for your body, you will get to your goals faster than if you do more or less. That's just the bottom line.